Okay. Was the director involved in this? Yes, yes. So, uh, for Anand Imagine, actually, uh, we got a fund from Dutch. Uh, so that's why I have to spend the money. We have to spend the money over there for post production. I have no chance. Usually, whenever I do work with future film, usually line producer asks if there is any lab you want to use, is there any collaborator you want to work with? I have a choice all the time. But this time, no choice. You have to go to Amsterdam right away. And this is a whole lab we can use. And then, oh my God, you know, you know, I have to work someone who never been to Singapore. And that's a very tough. So that's why I, I, I asked my producer, I need a camera test. And then put all like a lookup table, uh, which I use. And then we already start communication from pre-production. And then actually I had a... You already started communicate, communicating with the colors from free production. You know, actually uh, I had a choice. And then I had a Skype interview uh, with five collaborator who has experience than me. And then hi, you know, I Skype interview. Then I decide one guy who been to Singapore first. I mean, that's, that's how I decide. Because in this case, a land imaging is I really care about the humidity. And then I want to remain the some humidity. And then if the people don't know about humidity, it's very difficult to create. So that's why I'm asking, have you been to Asia? Especially Singapore, yeah. I've been to Singapore four or five times again. He's the man, so, so that's how it's like. So, so yeah. So we communicate and of course I sent the footage uh, shot for the camera test. And then I explained the lookup table which I'm going to use. And then actually I use uh, 17 lookup table for Aran Imaging. And usually I make myself and then I change it. Once I choose uh, four or five major lookup table, I make, uh, let's say, uh, 75 contrast and black is 50. So I make different type of, you know, um, lookup table. And then I ask them to put together, and if you have any question from your script, your impression, you can do whatever you want and show me whatever, whatever you have. And then, you know, we kind of share the information. Wow, this is good. Oh, he I like it. This. And, you know, we just kind of see where to, to go. So for me, um, camera test is very important. And then we had a 14, no, no, we had a 17 days to finish up. Uh, color grading. 17 days for color. 17. Okay. 17 days. So actually, quite fast. For me, it's always very fast because if we we know what where to go, I mean, doesn't have to do so many stuff. So, which I believe 80 percentage of color grading for me finish on set. So, I don't have to do color grading too much. So. Yeah, I mean, color grading is non-stop. I mean, if you have a time, you can do two years, three years to find out your, you know, look. But for me, it's actually, I need some deadline. I love deadline, so that's why I can finish up. Because I'm not really creator, I'm not artist. So because I have a deadline, so that's why I can finish up. If somebody say, hey, this is the money, you can create everything, whatever you want, then, you know, we don't have a deadline, then probably I cannot finish up. So that's why I love the drawings, yeah. Can, can I just, uh, you mentioned about uh, humidity, right? Can you just share with us, do you have an example of like, how you achieve that look that about humidity? I'm just very curious. Is there a, like a, a particular, just, just briefly, if you can, just share with us. Um, because it's more, humidity is more like a, to me like a... Humidity. It's not only temperature. Sometimes the sense, yep. sometimes I mean atmosphere, yep. and uh, yeah. So because I mean, I grew up in Japan, and also I mean, most of them is been to Japan. The summer is a very humidity. I mean, worse than Singapore, and then so I know what it look like, yeah. and then. Okay, this is a very simple. I mean, some local director, he, I want to shoot something like a very beautiful European film. Yeah. And then, oh, this is how much, this is very beautiful because of dry. And the color temperature is different. So that's why we can, I mean, so, so we're going to Europe to shoot. And then, no, this is what I want. It's impossible. This is Singapore. I mean, the temperature is different. The, I mean, dust is different. All different. Color temperature is different, right? So 
But someone is going to try to get this humidity when do the color grading. For me, I love humidity. I mean, for what I'm imagining, especially. So I don't know. I mean, that's kind of sense. So it's very difficult to talk about. Is it, like, is it like using like color temperature or like you kind of like read some highlights? Like no, especially I could care about the black. Sorry. Black. Black. Oh. So, yeah, please. Uh, um, okay, so it's a very simple. If you have a light, a big light, I mean, you can light up, then you can actually, I mean, is that, is that a, a shot that you can that use as an example? It's coming soon. So, I mean, of course, film editing is a very important. Uh, so, I mean, watching the edit as an audience, not as a cinematographer. I mean, time for regret. So if you regret, so you have a next chance. So that's very simple. I never satisfied, so that's why I can shoot more. And I mean, this is very important. Um, most cinematographer is not gonna attend this session. But for me, I always sit down, how the sound designer is gonna mix in the sound. And then the second part is very important because some scenes more sound heavy than visual. And sometimes the sound also can create something. And in that case, my color grading has to be slightly less, you know what I'm talking? So this is actually, I mean, because we are filmmaking is actually collaboration. It's not only visual stuff. So I respect the sound as well. So, I mean, I wanted to talk about sound of the film, but you know, it's no time, so let's move on. And then color grading, I mean, as I mentioned, for me, the 80 percentage group is already created on set. So, and then night scene fast, which means, I mean, I create night scene fast when I start color grading. And then, as I say, I mean, camera test, all according to the camera test, the result, what we discuss with color grader post-production side. So we already know where to go. So, I mean, we just do whatever we have to do. Okay, so then last part, which I really mentioned about the important block is uh, this is my um, priority for collaborating. Okay, so and um, some of you know this is a great chart. So after digital cam, I mean digital cameras came out. Everybody talk about highlight. Oh, because I mean, digital is, is couldn't cover like a highlight things, but I really don't care about highlights. I only care about this part because we are going to see movie theater, which is atmosphere is totally black. So my eyes is always see only this area, how to make nice black nicely, the gradually. So that's of most my care. So, for example, if you want to see really black. I might light up. Then I have to close my exposure. And then with light, without light, it's totally different. You see different black. And that's how, uh, how I care all the time. Then... Are you, sorry if I may interrupt, yeah. are you also referring to the shadow detail as well? Yes. When you say black, it's yeah. so it's more of like... Shooting shadow, remember? You, yeah, you're very interested in the shadow detail, yeah. how, it, how it affects the, the whole visual. Exactly. I mean, that's more like, a, I mean, it's, it's very important. So I guess most cinematographers care about the black. I mean, I mean, whenever you ask somebody, maybe you might also care about black, right? So, I mean, this is tell the story, everything. Here, sometimes, yes, but I more care. This is the most difficult thing to care about, to see the really black. So then maybe this scene, I show one scene. Um, this is the ending scene for Arana Imagine. Uh, I mean, this is also same thing, Arilo. I mean, I didn't change anything at all. So, I mean, it's, it's very difficult to see this whole block, but if you see movie theater, you can see my block. <laughs> so let's watch it in the scene. Yeah. 
Also, this is, I think, a good example, right? Um, now, um, I'm shooting somewhere that's slightly far. <coughs> then, oh, Peter looking good. And then I really didn't want to stop. And then I just I contact to show you for don't stop. Then I just move in because I saw this performance is only one time. And then I move in. Of course, my AD is fucked up, but you know I don't care because I really want to see his moment. So I just move the camera right away, documentary style. And then of course lighting is my job bring the only one fire with wood and to make a few light like this. And then we have to adjust the moment. And that, that's how we shoot. So I sometimes do this kind of shooting style. So I have to explain AD nicely. If I'm feeling good, I might shoot wide shot punching at the same time. And then of course I'm gonna explain some some men as well. <coughs> and after this, I feel that's it. We already got it. Then, hey, I want to shoot Kanaway one more time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I'm going to capture at the same time. Because handheld is very heavy. And then this is low budget. I couldn't get a small camera. I have to bring it all the time the big camera. So, I mean, I lost this. After I finished Aran Imaging, I lost a six kilo. <laughs> That's a very tough. It was the Aria Alexa. Alexa, yeah, XL. 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 XL